Okay, so I'm going to recommend multiplying the, um, the second equation by minus 2 and adding it to the first equation. So let me write that down for you. And minus 2. So if you multiply the second equation by minus 2, you get minus 2xy equals minus 12. And we're going to add that to the first equation. So let's write down what you get. You get x squared plus x, I'm sorry, not plus x, I'll do that again, plus y squared plus x minus y minus 2xy is equal to 20. All right? And now what I'm going to do is rewrite the equation. I'm going to rearrange it. And let's rearrange it. So I'm going to rearrange it to x. Let's take a look at this. x squared minus 2xy. Right, I'm just rearranging it so it looks like I can factor it. Because I'm going to use the zero product rule if I can. So x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. I did this. I did this. I did this. And then what do you get? Well... You get x minus y, whoops, plus x minus y minus 20 equals 0. Well, let's write this down. You're going to get x minus y squared plus 1 times x minus y minus 20 equals 0. Well, you know, if you want to make a, a substitution, you can. I'll, I'll, I'll put out what I mean by that. If you want to let u equal x minus y, it might become more obvious why you would do that. Let me put this down. So you get u squared plus u minus 20 equals 0. And then what do you get? Let's take a look. It looks like it's factorable, right? So u and u. And I'm going to say 4 and 5. Because they do give you a product of 20, they differ by 1. So plus 5 minus 4. So u equals minus 5 or u is equal to 4. But again, what's u? u is x minus y, right? I'll write that down for you. So x minus y is equal to, to uh, minus 5, or x minus y is equal to 4. Right, what are you going to do now? Well, you have two equations, two unknowns. We can substitute that, that back in, right? We're using a zero product rule. Let's see what we get over here. Um, let's take a look. And I'm going to say, using the first equation, this one here, that's one of the solutions, by the way. I'm going to say x equals y minus 5. And then I need some place to substitute and to figure out what the y is. And I'm going to say probably the first equation is probably the easiest one to pop it in. And it's good. That's xy, right? Is equal to, let's go back over there, 6. Again, we're doing this guy now. We'll see what happens. And what do you get there? Let's see. You're going to get um, x is y minus 5, right? Times y is equal to 6. I think I can do that. You get y squared minus 5y. Minus 6 equals 0. And that factors, right, to y. And you can see these problems are more involved, right? So I'm going to say 6 and 1. And it looks like minus 6 plus 1. So y equals minus 1. Whoops. y equals minus 1 or y is equal to 6. Now remember, we're using this equation here where x equals y minus 5. So remember, x equals y minus 5. So I'm going to get points over here. So if y is minus 1, I get minus 6 minus 1. Or let's see, if y is 6, what would I get? I'd get 1. 
I want to point out, looking at the picture of this, we see those points. And um, one six is right here. And the other point is going to be minus six, minus one is right over here. All right? I want to keep going. And I got to go back to this guy. I haven't done them yet, have I? And what's that going to be? I'm going to say x is equal to y plus four. Uh, again, I'm going to plug it in. Where do I plug it in? To this equation, because it's probably the simplest one I can deal with. So y plus 4 uh, times, sorry about that. Get a little dizzy with the eraser here. y plus 4, which is x, times y equals 6. Might be a little more difficult to do this one, but let's put it down. You get y squared plus 4y minus 6 equals 0. Um, I'm not going to be able to factor out using my finger, so I'm going to write down what y is using the quadratic formula. Let's see, 2 minus 4 plus or minus. And let's see what you get for the radicand. Uh, let's see, b squared 16 minus 4ac, so it's going to be plus 24. And what do you get there? You get y minus 4 plus or minus, this is 2. 16 and 24 is going to be um, 30, right? So 30, root 30. Did I do that right? Oh, root 40, I'm sorry. And what's that going to be? 2 root 10s. Well, that simplifies pretty nicely. What do you get? y equals minus 2 plus or minus root 10. Well, you know what? I still have to do the same thing. And someone said, what's the same thing? I got to find the x. And I want to point out what's the x. It's y plus 4. So let's write this down. So you have two y numbers. You have my, Again, x is y plus 4. Let's write these two answers down. They're more complicated, though. And so y plus 4. So you would have, um, let's see. Let's see if you put down minus 2 plus root 10. And that's what the y is. If you add 4 to that, what do you get? 2 plus root 10. Now let's try another y. Let's try minus 2 minus root 10. And if you add 4 to that, what do you get? 2 minus root 10. Now these are more difficult to come up with. But, um, you know, 2 plus root 10, it's 5 point something. So I'm going to say this is the point over here. This is 2 plus root 10, comma, uh, I'm going to say root 10 minus 2, all right? That's, you know, roughly around 1, all right? I'm just speaking roughly. And let me put this point down over here. What's that point over there? It's uh, 2 minus root 10, which is roughly about minus 1. And then the other one's minus 2, minus root 10. And that's roughly about minus 5, all right? So, um... It's a tough problem, and these are tough problems, right? So someone can say, could you do that differently? Of course you can. Don't think this is the only path there. And this might be like a, a difficult path. There might be many other paths that are much easier than one I just took. But the bottom line, we did get a solution to it. We just didn't check it in the original problem. All right, I want to point out, if you need to reach out to me, and this is a draft version, certainly try to improve the draft version by getting uh, input from people. And if you have input, where you think maybe I could uh, make this a better document, I'd love to hear from you. My email address is Bannon, B as in boy, the at symbol, N-N-O-N dot U-S. And again, my name is Ron Bannon. All right? Thank you.